Nonviolent communication is a system that can be learned, applied, and practiced. It is a system developed by Marshall Rosenberg, and it's a system that seeks connection, empathic connection. There have been studies that prove that once we understand and we connect to people's needs and feelings so empathically, we naturally, we spontaneously respond to support them. We want to help them and make their life more wonderful. So this is a system that reminds us of the natural ways in which we want to behave. The way we do this is by exploring and by looking very curiously to our needs. Needs are universal. We all have needs. And these needs are what emote us, is what moves us to do things. So everything that we do is in our desire to fulfill our needs. Even those tragic expressions as frustration and anger, even wars, are just tragic expressions of this desire to fulfill our needs. So understanding this already, already gives us a much more compassionate view of, of the world and why people do what they do. So if we look at needs and we look at all our actions that are to fulfill this desire of meeting our needs, then we also understand that feelings are also related to these needs and to these actions because to the extent these needs are met, then our feelings are going to be um, satisfactory or dissatisfactory. So a need that has been met will have good feelings, um, feelings of joy and happiness and com completion. A uh, uh, need that has not been met will usually have more like sinking feelings, frustration and un anger, or just this unsettled feeling. So then when we look at this, we, we understand that we are not limited by a situation, but by our needs. So normally in the current paradigm, we have a power over structure. That means that what I want is more important than what you want. But if we look at our needs and we understand that we, we all just have these needs that want to be met, and also we understand that it's not just this specific situation, but actually it is this need that can be met in a multiple way, then our possibilities are limitless now, are unlimited. And this invites a conversation, a communication with the other, so this exploration to this empathic connection of how we can make all of our needs met. And so, again, stepping out of this power over, which seeks control and manipulation, current paradigm that we have, when we move into a power with, it's an empowering paradigm, where through understanding, we empower each other to meet our needs. And so in this curiosity, in this exploration, both of our needs are met. And so, all our relationships can be supported, all our relationships can be fulfilled, even our own internal When we think of conflict, in fact, it's just a struggle between two needs. With this view, we look at it, that it's not just the conflict of this situation, but it, suddenly it opens up in front of us, and we see that it is two needs that seem to be unresolvable. But once we go deep into them, we suddenly open up to possibilities that we couldn't see before and ideally find ways in which both can so be met. All conflict, whether it is within yourself or in any relationship or maybe even between countries or, or groups of people, these can be met in this way. So practicing implementing and understanding nonviolent communication can certainly improve all your relationships.